one in the morning's King 5 News starts now. Good morning. It is estimated 15,000 deaf children in the U.S. wear cochlear implants. The electronic hearing devices are nothing like hearing aids, as one local teen is finding out. Jean Anderson tells her story in today's King 5 Children's Health Link. These are all the countries that you'll need to label. And Inglewood Junior High 8th grader Taylor Jones is unstoppable in social studies class. She's a great student. This, despite a genetic disorder that has caused your hearing to deteriorate starting in infancy. A lot of people are doing PowerPoint. Her aids to communication include signing, lip reading, oh, yeah, yeah. and a hearing aid. But last summer, the 13-year-old faced a life-changing decision. She woke up one morning to find her hearing had all but disappeared overnight. Taylor became a candidate for this device called a cochlear implant. So this is completely surgically implanted. A surgeon places the implant alongside the nerve in the inner ear. A processor worn on the outside converts sound into electrical signals. This external device communicates with the internal device through a magnet. Doctors can't explain how, but the brain then retrains itself, turning the electrical impulses into sound. It was confusing at first for Taylor. It sounds Donald Ducky or Darth Vader-ish with a lot of beeping in the background. She'll need repeat appointments to fine-tune the implant, and she's determined to keep at it. I've been hearing more stuff I've never heard before, like sometimes I hear sniffing. Dr. Kathy C., director of childhood communications at Seattle Children's Hospital, says research shows great benefit when implants are done at an early age. If they're implanted very young, most kids will develop, will um, match their peers in speech and language several years after implantation. Taylor's thinking ahead to college and a career and believes the implant will help. It makes it a lot easier for me to hear without having an to depend on an interpreter. And there's been a nice surprise with her iPod. I've been hearing like the bass and the drums and a whole lot of other stuff that I didn't even know was in the music. And just so you know, children might take up to three years to adjust to a cochlear implant. And older children who've been deaf since birth, some of them might not benefit at all. For King 5 Children's Health Link, I'm Jean Anderson, linking you with better health. Children with cochlear implants have faced a higher incidence of meningitis than their peers. That's a risk doctors can now minimize through immunizations. Well, the Hawks gear up in Green Bay.